morning children how are you all i hope you are doing well at home dear children today we are going to talk about one interesting topic from our 8th class biology so let us begin our session dear children earth is a home planet for most of our living organisms these organisms to exist on the universe they required a basic needs like food water shelter and clothing so usually the organism stays in the places in order to meet all these requirements which is necessary for the life so the organism where it is fulfills the basic needs that place is called as habitat so dear children already we have studied in our 6th class about these habitat children and also we have one small conversation between two friends gayatri and venkatesh here one of the friend is saying that pond and forest are the habitat and the next friend is saying that forest and pond are the ecosystems let us try to find out what is this ecosystem and how it is different from the habitat either pond and forest are the habitat or else they are ecosystems let us try to find out in this session in the chapter different ecosystems dear children in early 20th century people were studying the interrelationships in the nature in separate units mainly of an individual organisms and those live in the environment so the organism where it is fulfills the basic needs that is called as a habitat so where the individual organism fulfill its basic needs is called as a habitat and the group of organisms belonging to the same species they are forming the population and the different different species population it is comprising the biotic community if this biotic community integrating with its physical environment that is called as a ecosystem so in this ecosystem living components are existing and non living components are existing how this ecosystem is came into existence The word ecosystem was first used in 1935 by a British botanist and ecologist A.G. Tansley to describe the basic unit of the nature. Tansley coined the word ecosystem as a reduction of the term ecological system to ecosystem. According to him, nature works as a system in which organisms and their communities are influenced by non-living environmental factors. So, what the Gayatri talks about the habitat is a smaller unit of ecosystem. So, both friends were correct in their own ways. So, habitat is a a smaller part of ecosystem. Ecosystem is a larger part which includes the smaller parts of habitats. Dear children, let us recall what we learnt here. The place where the organism fulfills uh, its basic needs, it is called as a habitat. Habitat is a smaller part of a uh, ecosystem, and also the living organisms and their communities they are interacting with the non-living environmental factors. It is called as a uh, ecosystem. Tomorrow we are going to learn about uh, the structure of ecosystem. Dear children, take your homework. Visit a pond and make a list of animals inside the water. Thank you very much.